Kalinga, thank you for joining us on Talking Economics. Yeah. Uh, tell us a little bit about what you are doing to take technology to more people in Sri Lanka and make technology more accessible. Yeah, when I was little, the only difficulty I had was the language barrier. Especially like uh, all the technology content and everything, even if you go to university, whatever the lectures they done, they do it in English. Uh, so what I was thinking at like a uh, couple of years back, and I was thinking, okay, what we can do to you know like uh, break that language barrier. So then we came up with the idea of having a internet podcast. Just basically, if you guys sitting uh, in a room and discussing about technology and you know answering questions like uh, viewers' questions and uh, doing a pre-recorded show. Um, it it wasn't anything like uh, anything formal. Just we just get, like gather at one place and uh, do the recording. So and we started like couple of years back and uh, it was called Techata. So we just get question from SMSs, uh, Skype and from the web itself and people asking questions, especially in single media. And we just did a recording every Friday nights and uh, release it the next day and they can download it and they can listen to it. And uh, then we thought, okay, now say, uh, fine, we, audio has somewhat of a limitation when you are explaining something, so you can't show things. And then we decided to go with video. Now Techkada is also on video. So, and now what we do is basically we discuss technology and we answer users' question and we give out our opinion as yeah, like everyone who is in tech Kata is in the industry. So, they are, I, even myself, I have like 10 years experience in computer technology. And so what we do is we just tell people, okay, if you are doing a degree, do After like 6-7 months, ICTA recognized us as you know, doing something to the community and doing something. So they gave us the Iswami Award in 2009. And we were happy with that saying, okay, finally, someone is noticing us and something. And then the listenership started to grow up. And we were getting questions from all over Sri Lanka and like even from outside of Sri Lanka, especially who has migrated Sri Lanka for some other countries and they were even listening to us. And we were really happy and like, and when we are hitting that 10,000 downloads the episode and we were like, oh, this, this, we are actually doing something and we were getting a lot of feedback. So now we get about 20,000 hits an episode. So it takes about some time. And reachability, we were thinking, how okay, okay, fine, everyone doesn't have a computer, but everyone does have a mobile. Mm. That, that's, 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 that's one of the things. So what we did was, uh, we made a mobile friendly version of it. So it's like 6 MB for a one hour show. So they can just download it on the onto their phone and listen to it on the phone itself. And we found that a lot of people use that. So what they do is someone in a school download the file and they use Bluetooth or other kind of technology to transfer it with, between their friends and listening it. And we were like really happy. Okay, people are really innovative. And then some guy said, okay, Kalinga, yeah, normally people call me Aya and like, Kalinga, I made an Android application. So And he has done an Android application. He has published it and he has done everything. So now we have Android application. And other guys said, okay, I'll do iPhone application and now we have iPhone application. Now, uh, yesterday I got a mail saying, we will do a Windows mobile application. So, so these are your viewers? Viewers. People. Not uh, like, we are not doing anything actually, even the site, maintenance, everything, even 